Hello. How are you doing? You know what today is, right? You didn't forget. Hello, everyone. I kind of... Oh, yeah. Whoops. I kind of gave away which one I was drawing. <laughs> Whoopsie. Today, it's Community Canvas Day, where we draw together, but... We do have a theme if you want to join in, and that's Stardew Valley, because there's the big update that came out today, but that's only optional, if you want to. You know, anything Stardew Valley, so it could be a character, you could draw vegetables, you could draw a cow, or a chicken, or a dog. You know, anything like that, you could draw a character drinking mayonnaise, because you can do that now. Anything like that, guys, so... What I'll do is I'll put the link in for you, and you can join in. Or if you just want to hang out, that's fine too. There you go. There we go. So I'll let, I'll let everyone get in and get cozy. And then I will carry on drawing mine. You don't, that's fine, Pony. If you're a little unsure, you can draw whatever you want, really. But uh, people were excited about Stardew Valley updating, so that's the theme if you want to do it. And I think Steph might join in today, but right now, she's eating snacks. Mm -hmm. Which is valid. We like snacks. I wanted to draw this one. Is it Emily? But there's also Abigail, and she has a guinea pig, doesn't she? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. I think so. Boys. Anyway, how was your guys? day going how's your wednesday should we search your zoom out a little bit so we can see there you go this is what i've got for mine so far so i'm gonna carry on <laughs> i've noticed i've left that why did i leave the hands until i was on screen that's great <laughs> <laughs> What do you do in Stardew Valley, Jaden? It's um a farming game. Where uh, this, the basic story is is that you inherit farmland from your grandpa. And your job is to like build the farm up and make it really good. But you can also interact with like the people that live in the town where you live and stuff like that. It's okay, very so relaxing. You could make the prompt a uh, farm. Yeah, it could be, yeah, anything that's farming. That's essentially what Stardew Valley is. The scrapbooking? Oh, Sparkle, that's nice. I like that. So like it reminds me of what, like, Steph's been into recently. Steph likes a good scrapbooking, don't you, dear? And I like cuddling. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. You think you're partially inspired by her? Oh, that's sweet. I don't know whether, you know, doing the Stardew Valley prompt on the day that the update was released might not have been the best idea. Because <laughs> I imagine that people might be playing it. But but hey, we were excited for it yesterday. So we were like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Make a oh, phone case, Sparkle. That's awesome. Steph's got some of those wiggly uh, scissors. What did they add? Froyo, all I can remember is that you're allowed to drink mayonnaise now. <laughs> That's my favourite part of the update. Oh, 
I wanted to do this, this Emily, she wears like a dress when she goes to the beach, and I wanted to try and draw that. That's why I've got this here as a reference. This is Emily. And if I finish this, I might try drawing the Stardew Dog, because that's a top tier boofer as well. Yeah, broccoli's been added to it now. Patches is very happy. He loves a bit of broccoli. You can put hats on your pets? Oh my god. Um, there's a new metal farm. Oh yeah, and there's a new- yeah, Steph was telling me there's a new farm type as well. Meadow farm. That just sounds like a cute name in general. I love that you can put hats on- oh my god, I want to put a wizard hat on the dog. Whoa. I'm also really big on Minecraft at the minute. I want to, I want to install the guinea pig mod, and maybe play that with Steph sometime. You can get multiple pets. Oh, that's amazing. I want multiple pets. Can I have all the dogs? Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Big fan. No, I wrote the prompt in the corner. Oh, did you? Oh yeah, that's fine, dear. Yeah, sure. I like your handwriting as well. It's very cute. that what are you drawing oh, she's drawing something my mum says you look like a cute pug oh is your mum visiting you in jail cat <laughs> i'm gonna oh, i i know you get some people will get upset but like i'm probably gonna redesign it at some point so i look more guinea pig like oh, it's still gonna be a guinea pig, oh yeah of course it will it'll look more guinea pig like but that's the whole point if you changed it to something no, no. I still want to be um, a Himalayan, which is the type okay. of guinea pig I am. No, I still want to be a Himalayan, but uh, make him look a bit more pig-like and less pug-like. That's a very cute carrot, dear. Thank you. You are. It's cute. And I've totally added uh, Emily here so I can colour pick from her. There's no shame. I'm colour blind, alright? <laughs> You've got to let me have these these little victories. I feel like the arm should be a bit longer. Crowdfund an articulate V German. They go for thousands. I'd much rather put that towards like having my own house. <laughs> Like may maybe when I've got my own house, then I can justify having a big expensive VTuber. How's that? Guinea pigs aren't very articulate. They are. Oh my god. They're super articulate. They're babies. Yeah, guinea pigs are super articulate. They're always getting into places that they shouldn't be. Creston, when he's like washing his balls, he can like go. Uh, Turn into a perfect circle. Yeah, and he can cross out too. That's very true. One of them's wreaking havoc on the water bottle at the minute. What are you doing? You big stink. What are you doing, stinky? Stinky. That's what, what I tend to call them. When they're, when they're misbehaving, they become stinky. It's like, hey, sh hey stinky. It's like, what? God knows why I wanted to do this pose with these hands. <laughs> like a bounce? Ooh. Hmm. 
<laughs> Is that a chicken, honey? <laughs> well, that's a good quality chicken. I really like the chicken designs that are in Stardew Valley. I'm, in fact, I think all the animals are like really, really well done, if I'm honest. I hate these hens though. Maybe, 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 maybe. She could be holding a summer hat and we'll just hide them. You don't know what program they use? That's an option Vido Tube. There's so many programs now. I still use that Hunk one. I like it so. Oh, that's such a cute. It looks like it's wearing little shoes. Oh, that's a cute chicken, my dear. Oh, is that um, what's his name, Crawbert or something? Oh, the little like. Oh, this dude. Yeah. Yeah. Should we have a quick look at how you guys are getting on, real quick? Oh, these are looking cute, guys. Alolan Raichu. Oh, an Eevee. That's cute. Oh my god, buddies, that's really cute too. Oh! Are you guys are oh. I'll let you guys cook a bit more. I'm jumping on you early. That's what they say. They say let let them cook. That means like they're working on something. They're working on something big. Let them cook, honey. sun hat thing. See, that looks, that's a bit cute. And it hides the gross ass hands I was doing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, let's line it as well. Let's try and line it nicely. It'll be good uh, practice. Do, do, do. The pose is cute. Oh, thank you, Sparkle. I wanted to come prepared today. Whenever I get, whenever I'm drawing, like, if it's just a random character, I'm fine. But whenever it's like a character that exists, it's like, oh lord, like, give, give me, give me time. <laughs> I started doodling this. No joke. I started doodling this yesterday. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You cheat? No, no, no. It's because I wanted to do a good job. So does everyone else who comes to the stream? Yeah, well, tough titties. I get, I get a, I get a head start. No one else. <laughs> Me. Hello, Dennis. How you doing? Do do do. Fair and kind of relatable. Like, if I get, if everyone had a head start, with the community canvas thing would be like a two-day, like, marathon. <laughs> Which I know you guys would love. That'd be so risky to do. I think you'd get in trouble as well on Twitch. Like, if you left the stream going while I went to bed and people drawn, that's too risky. And one of you would draw a comedy penis and I'd get in trouble. We wouldn't let you go to... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm going to bed now. You'd be like, no. If you go to sleep now, I'll draw balls. It's like, ugh. It's like I can't leave you alone for like 10 minutes. A balls jump scare. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is the chicken laid an egg? Mm -hmm. 
I like his. I like how you've drawn his feet. He it looks like he's wearing like little bo boobs. <laughs> little boobs. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing boobs on his feet. Now I have to admit, though, you guys are always uh, really well behaved in these, and I do appreciate that. You sort of place each other, which is really sweet. Singing. Yeah, there's some people singing outside. Sorry about that. What do you mean, slander? What do you mean? Your boyfriend's in town on Friday? Ooh! Have you got any plans? Or are you just chilling together? You're not well behaved? Well, that's because you're in prison, cat. That's what happens to people that don't behave themselves. They go to jail. I love that cheek. Oh, he's happy now! I love going back to yours and seeing the subtle changes, so. though. <laughs> That's it, Sparkle. I won't be mad. I'll just be disappointed in you. It's like, oh, no. Also, I hope your mum's doing well, Kat. That was very sweet of her to offer her opinion on how I look. I'm gonna go to the mall because we're both small town kids obsessed with big kids. That's cute. Going to the mall together. That's really sweet. We don't have like a mall per se near us. We have like a little shopping center thing. And there's this place that sells like discounted sweets and candy and stuff. And Steph likes to be taken there. Your mum is great. Good. Oh, that's very sweet. Make him, make him looking happy because she looks happy. Who is your guys? Is if you do play it, who is your guys' favorite uh, Stardew Valley like villager person? Do you have a favorite? And if you do, why? I, I think like I, Willy. You like Willy, the the Fisher dude, Big Willy. You know, if he oh my god, if he lived in this country, he could he could be the fat Willy. <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. Oh my god, he's laid. Oh, is he laid a golden egg? Ailey? What? How, which one's that? Is she the blonde one? Oh, she thought it was mean. Wait, is she cruel? Why? She's just very standoffish. Is she like hard to get? Oh, Jellyfrog says that they like Hayley because that she's mean to them. <laughs> Are you trying to fix Hayley? Everyone has a type. <laughs> I can fix Hayley. Leah, because she's an artist? Oh, that's cool, Froyo. Oh, yeah, a few people fancy Leah. I liked Penny. I like. I thought she was cool. Is Pen it because she had alcoholic parents like me? <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe it's like subconsciously like, oh my god, it's Steph. I need to save her. And Abigail's cool because she has the guinea pig, obviously. And the developer used to have, in Abigail's room, a guinea pig hutch. And it used to have a hamster wheel in it. And those are bad for pigs. And uh, people that own guinea pigs told him, the developer guy. And he removed it. And I thought that was really oh, sweet. Did that actually get I'm pretty sure he removed it, yeah.
You want to play? I think you'll really like it, Sparkle. Like, when you do play it, I think you'll enjoy it. It's very chill. Very relaxing. There's, like, never a rush for anything, and I really like that. I hate... Oh, my God. I hate games that have, like, timed things. Like, time trials. Your favorite game of all time is, like, Sonic. Yeah, but you don't have to. You don't have... Well, he, he likes to go fast, but you don't have to. <laughs> that's the whole point of Sonic. Sonic, Sonic has more... He's not just, like, a one-trick pony. Sonic has feelings, son. He's he's a he's a cute cute baby. Sonic does have actual law. Exactly, he does. And Sonic doesn't rush his feelings, because that's no good. Sonic taught me about sexual harassment as well. He did, and Mario has never done that. But son, my boy Sonic did. He says, like, hey gang, there's nothing more, there's nothing, there's nothing nicer than being touched by someone that you like. But if that person doesn't have you permission, that's no good. Mario wouldn't have the balls to teach me about <laughs> real stuff like that, but Sonic did. What did he get? It's like a really infamous, like, uh, 90s cartoon. Where Sonic teaches you about sexual harassment and stuff. It exists! But I think it's sweet. <laughs> Talks about, like, uh, consent and permission and stuff like that. It's very... Sonic's been very ahead of his time for a long time. Hello, Chuckles. How are you doing? And uh, did you know that Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, is a feminist because of a mistranslation in a... Uh, in, like, uh, I think it was a mistranslation from a Japanese instruction book. It was supposed to say that he hates women, but it was mistranslated, and it said that, like, Eggman's the evil bad guy that turns animals into robots, and then at the end it just says, he is a devout feminist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. So Egg Eggman supports all women. See, even the bad guys in Sonic have good traits. Slay. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like fun, Chuckles. Sonic says consent is hot. It is. Slay Egg Queen. Yeah, there is Fro. Yeah, there's one where he tells you not to climb into washing machines as well, and because Tails wants to go in the washing machine. And Sonic's like, no way, little buddy, you'll die. I don't really know much about Shadow though, because I'll be um because when they came out, they came out on the Dreamcast first, didn't they? And I never had one of those. And like this Shadow and his like friend Maria who gets like shot by like an assault team or something like that. All the shadow memes. <laughs> the one where he says, nice, you know what? <laughs> I want to know where that came from. <laughs> I mean, like, Sh Sh I appreciate Shadow. I'm all for body positivity, but... Shadow, there's a time and a place. He's like, oh. He's a bad guy, but he means well, and we, we can appreciate that. Oh, you've got a 
bird and the chicken. Oh my god, there's so many chickens. Sounds like, like cow and chicken. Chicken. I really like that chicken, do you? Struggling with his social keys. Like, what am I supposed to do in the toilet? Uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Oh my god, and in Sonic 06, when Sonic got killed, he got shot with a laser beam. And he had to get kissed by a human to come back to life. Everyone loved that scene. Do, 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 do. Anything you've seen from Sonic? In <laughs> oh my god, that's all you need, really. You know I'm biased though, when I was a kid and Sonic was my only best friend. My only best friend. He was my only friend, let alone only best friend. Sonic is sleeping beauty. He kinda yeah, he kinda was. Toothless? Oh, that's really sweet. The dragon? Oh, that's really sweet. Toothless. I remember there was a time where, like, How to Train Your Dragon was really popular on Tumblr and stuff, wasn't it? It's like, How to Train Your Toothless. I feel like that fandom kind of passed me by. I was more older when How to Train New Dragon came. But it was still good. I still, like, enjoyed it. Well, let me turn the opacity for this back up. Because I'm going to steal the skin colors. Oh, I'm so sticky, boy. Sticky, boy. You spend hours looking at the house train. You go, oh, look at that, that's so adorable. It's like, yep, yeah, this is my next fandom. I just think that's so sweet. Yep, yeah, I'm not, I'm attached to this now. I don't even know how I ended up getting. Because that's one thing I don't remember is like how I got into watching Sonic and playing like his games and stuff. I think I. Th oh gosh, I think my brother. Who's, you know, he's older than me. I think my parents got him a Mega Drive. And I think the Mega Drive came with Sonic. And uh, he let me play on it. And I think that's how I first found out about him. You like his design? I like Toothless's wife too. That, that she's cool. Like she, white with like blue eyes. That's cool. Oh, 
What's that, Alan? Oh, I love that chicken. Well done. You're growing weed on your farm, hun. You just know there's going to be a mod for that. Jack Frost X Hiccup Comics. Were you okay awakening? I love that. When we watched the uh, Rise of the Guardians, I was like, what make what makes Jack Frost so great? And it's because, like, he was one of those, like, tortured souls where they're like, oh, we, I can help him. It's like, no, you, you can't. This is something that he needs to figure out by himself. It's like, no. He needs to figure it out with his head on my lap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> While I play with his hair and tell him that he's a good boy. Oh, that's interesting, dear. Is it a star fruit? No, it's like a turnip or something. I forget what vegetable. There you go for it. It doesn't matter. It's farming, you know. As long as it grows in the ground, you, you're pretty, pretty much fine. Hun. He was snarky and attractive. That's all you need. Jack's backstory. I thought his backstory was interesting, yeah. And how it was revealed, like, over the course of the movie, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Like, how he'd... Mind you, I won't spoil it, but yeah. It, it, I thought it was interesting as well. Wofa says it looks like a Stardew Valley parsnip. Yeah, that's the one. Well done, guys. Got the name of it. Parsnip, that's a good name for a guinea pig. Parsnip and parsley. Oh, that was... We almost called patches cabbages. Yeah, patches was nearly called cabbage. You know, like cabbage patch. I, it. I got really attached to it. And Steph was like, no, no, no. I was like, oh, please. But patches was a nice in-between. I think patches... I can't imagine patches not being called patches now. We almost called them puddles as well. Yeah, puddles, because he made like huge puddles when he drinks. And uh, persimmon. Persimmon, name. yeah, but that's too close to Simon, and Simon's not a very good guinea pig name. What about Simon the uh, Agouti? Yeah, but that's his name. We can't okay. steal that. Simon was an amazing guinea pig. The Santa? The Russian Santa guy? Do you guys like him? And yeah, it's nice to see you, Sparkles. I hope you're doing okay. I love watching staff work. Why? <laughs> I just I like watching you color stuff in, and I think it, I, to me it's very interesting. Dear. I think I'm coloring in one of your drawings for a thumbnail. I know, you did such a good job. One of the Dogs with Jobs canvases. Yeah, I'm gonna do dogs. Why did they make Santa hot? They broke the law. <laughs> Was, was, was he on the naughty list? Oh. What did you guys think of, like, the bird tooth fairy in that? I I think her design was one of my favourites. Because I've never seen someone, like, take, take a fairy-like idea and turn it into, like, a bird. I thought that was really cool. Who made that film? Was it DreamWorks that made that one? Yeah, I think it was. Do, 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 do. 
suppose that would make more sense like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, the characters. I really liked all the character designs in it. Yeah. Should we see how everyone's getting on? So here is Steph. She's done a chicken who's been laying a big egg and a lovely parsnip too. He didn't like the parsnip one. Oh, okay, that's valid. Oh, Cheesy loves Rats is not adorable. Again, guys, yeah, don't be afraid to put your, uh, your handles. That's all cool here. Oh, Sam's looking at- Oh, that's adorable! Little farming buddies. Oh my god, Rowlet's holding a trowel. Oh. I call Patches trowel features. Trowlet. Trowlet. <laughs> oh my god, excellent. Shall we have a look what's on number two? Oh, there's Suzu. Oh, you did the- you finished the Eevee right you really quick. Well done. And pink, yeah, jelly frogs over here, and Froyo's down in the bottom left. Oh, that actually reminds me, uh, jelly frog. Um, they saw, well, they filmed different generations uh, in this TikTok that I saw, and they would, they would say, "I'm going to ask you a question, and I just want you to gesture what I ask you to do." And uh, they were filming these people just standing up in a line. And they said, um, how do you take a photo? And, like, millennials, like, you know, held up, like, the box to their face and went like that. Whereas, like, um, Gen X and Alpha, they would hold it up like a phone and do that with their hand. And another one was like, how do you answer the How do you talk on the phone? And, uh, like, Millennials did the thing where, you know, where you hold your hand up with your thumb and your pinky? Like, Millennials did that. Whereas Gen Alpha did, like, that. Because it's, like, on a touch screen. It's hard. I can't show you because, like... <laughs> but I'm showing, like, Step It. So cool. Oh, Gen X is the... Oh, is that before us? The one after us. Gen Z. Z. Yeah, Z, Z. Oh, that's really pretty too, Bun. Oh, oh, you have a, oh my God! You're making like a a landscape. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. Page four. I'm so emo. That's not bad. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a cow. PJ, that's cool. What? Oh my God! I like the cow. I think he's pretty. He's a nice cow. Moo. <laughs> Son of a drift flame. Oh, it's a farmer one. It's a barber. I love the hat. Oh my god, you guys are so good at this. You're all making stupendous progress, guys. This is Fred. You did the travel for my diaper, excuse me? Oh my god, are they growing our dishes? That's such a cute idea. Oh, that's cute. Do, 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 do. For my diaper, please. Bunnies, yeah, Bunnies is always really good at doing like backgrounds and stuff, yeah. I'm not brave enough. Well, I'm brave enough to admit that I don't think I'm a background artist. How's that? That takes true courage. <gasps> oh, for a minute I thought you were drawing a possum. Why would I be doing a possum? Because I thought, like, this was his ear and that was his snoot. Steph showed me, uh... A rescue thing of a possum recently. Someone was in a park and there was like a big like plastic box and there's a baby possum in there and even if the possum wanted to get out he couldn't because the plastic box's walls were too high. I was like oh baby no! Well he was rescued. He was rescued and he was safe yeah and he fell asleep with his little hands covering his eyes. I was like oh Oh, 
He's like, oh, I am such a tiny baby, and I cannot get out of this little box. Sam, is that another trowel? Is that trowel come to clean up? <laughs> no! Oh, is that the star fruit, dear? I can't remember if it's called the star fruit, because there is like a star fruit that sells for quite a bit of money. What's the name of this thing that I'm drawing? I'm sure people are. Pineapple. I think I think that's a star fruit, right? That Steph is so lovingly doing. Yes, that, uh, Unicorn says that it is a star fruit, dear. What's the one that I'm thinking of? Is it called like Starberry or something? The one that you like make a ton of to earn like a bunch of money when you grow them. When you oh, I thought that was star fruit, son. Yeah, that's why I'm confused because there's like two star shaped things. Star drop. Uh, Does that star make sense? Drop. Yeah, I think that's the name of the thing I'm drawing. I love that whenever, guys, I've, I've said this in the past, I love whenever we have a question about literally anything. You guys know the answer to? That's dangerous, because we'll start relying on you for like, what's this? What is this thing? What's this? How does this work? You guys, I brought you my extra large one. Some. You think I'm doing like elephant turns? I'm glad I just brought that. I'll use it to dig his grave. I saw a thing on the uh, TikTok as well, where people reckon that they don't hear wood pigeons anymore. Oh, we do. Yeah, that's what that's what I was getting at. Yeah, apparently people don't hear. You know, wood pigeons. You know, like if you wake up early in the morning, they go like whoop 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 whoop. You know, stuff like that. And I was like, um, this had like thousands and thousands of like likes and stuff, and they've been like, oh my god, I haven't heard that in years. But um. Like, we hear it, like, it, there's one that lives on the roof. We've filmed him before. <laughs> like, uh, we hear him, like, every morning. I think it's a wood pigeon. He's, like, grey and white. Yeah, you can tell by his call. Do you guys hear those? do 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 I think they just don't wake up before noon. <laughs> They're like afternoon birds. Oh, I can't wait, guys. Like, one day when Steph and I have our own house, I keep telling her, even if we have, like, the tiniest of gardens, I'd love to, like, fill it with uh, bird feeders and stuff and then watch them, see what birds come. In the old place that we lived at, there were quite a few trees and stuff, that, you know, where we'd go film and things like that. And they had, like, um, there was blue tits and starlings and sparrows, blackbirds. We get robins. Yeah, there'd be robins there. Oh, it's amazing. Squirrels are the birds. I don't mind a squirrel. Yeah, starlings, this, the, how they imitate uh, sounds, it's crazy. It's a rock dove convey. Ooh! When I used to uh, go to school in the morning, we'd go past this one house, and they had a rooster that would... Uh, I don't know how they trained it to do it or whatever, but it would um, make its big rooster call thing at quarter to eight every morning. Your physiotherapist had a woodpecker pecking into their house. Have you ever seen the anatomy of a woodpecker? Have you seen that its tongue like loops around the back of its head? It's crazy. <gasps> Blue Jays. Oh, I bet that's awesome. 
I don't know if we even, I don't know if we even get those here. I'm not sure. Or is that a Junimo, hun? <laughs> it's like, hmm, Junimos have like our dish energy. Yeah, I think that's what I like. Like, hmm. We have an hour, oh, throw you an owl. I said, I've watched like a nature, you know, like they set up cameras, like nature ones. And I watched uh, one that had owls. And uh, oh my God, watching it fly at night's terrifying because you just suddenly see these eyes coming towards you and nothing else. Oh, it's <laughs> really scary. Chickadees, oh, you're my chickadees. I'll have to make like a chick, a moat or something. Because oh, I, be I always call you my chickadees. So when I say it, you can spam it or whatever. Oh, ducklings in state. Oh! I do. That is true. Isn't it? That is strange. Yeah, I tend to only call you chickadees when I'm going. I wonder why. Maybe it's a coping mechanism. <laughs> I call you something nice so you don't get angry. A chickadee that looks like it's it's talking. We get give it a go. Sure. A good night emote. Oh. Isn't it sweet? Cat sasses me, but cat knows that I use chickadees only when I'm leaving. It's because cat cares about us. <laughs> You're in jail for being too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up now! Oh, a hawk! Oh my god. I don't think we've got any of those nearby. I think we've had falcon. Uh, is it a falcon? What's that one that you see like in um, fields that hovers in the air looking for things? Are those a type of falcon? We get those nearby. Because it's really weird. It's like a bird. It's like it's a video and it's paused because the bird's just like gliding in place. We get those nearby, but I can't remember what they're called. It's, no, no, we don't get vultures here, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no vultures live here. Stardew fish? Oh my god, Froy, what stardew fish are there? Can you fish whales? Like in Animal Crossing? I don't think there's whales. Is there a shark? Um, what about a big old bass? It's been a while since I last played. A red tail. I, mean, I remember there being a catfish and an eel. Well, a catfish would be good because he kind of looks like Pot Jackson. Oh, there's a whale shark. That'd be good. He spotted a red tailed hog outside your apartment. Oh my god. I'd be like, are you, Sir, are you lost? <laughs> well, I'd be doing that from quite a way away. I wouldn't want him to attack me. <gasps> Fryer was going to do the catfish on. Yeah, oh, it's always cool to see him, yeah. When you get to see, like, a wild bird. When Steph and I went to Kew Gardens, there were those birds that they told us about. We drove... Oh, the red kite. Yeah, the red kite. It was n native to this area that we drove through, and they're huge. And uh, the area that where they live is quite popular for tourists. And the red kites have learned that when tourists come, they tend to picnic. So what they do is they wait for them to set everything up. And then they swoop in and steal their sandwiches. <laughs> I would, I think I'd poo myself like a massive bird swooping down. Oh, take it, go away. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, yeah, seagulls. Seagulls have no fear and no shame. They'll steal well, anything. My friend was uh, attacked by a seagull twice in the same day recently. Like yeah, it, it pooed on him and stole from him, yeah. <laughs> and flew into his face. Yeah, and flew into him as well, like, proper, like, like seagull harassment. It was horrible. A personal grudge. Whenever we used to go on holidays, kids, 
my dad said that seagulls like were always against him because my dad doesn't have hair and the seagulls would always poo on his head and he'd say it's because he there was he who would say they were boldest because they would always aim for him <laughs> You're gonna need this when you go pick. <laughs> You're gonna need this. Oh my god, when we like bunk off our dish, hit him with a trowel. If, if an adish dies in a field, will it grow into a tree? Is it like a seed? Only one way to find out. Time to kill it. <laughs> it's time to kill our dish, everyone. Seagulls are the only birds that you dislike, Meadow. It's scary just how big they can grow. That's what gets me. Like, if you ever go to, like, a beach town or whatever, they're huge. You can always tell if a, a seagull's been eating good. It's like, oh my god. He's huge! Hello, Boto. How are you? They're, they're like beach pigeons. Well, they just want to be fed, don't they? Oh. Oh, did I call or pick a different colour then? Whoops. Do, 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 do. They steal food. I remember that video. Do you remember that video I showed you of a seagull in this country where this guy was filming... Da his daughter was filming him. And um, he was eating chips and this seagull came swooping in. And the daughter said, Dad, look out! And then the dad punched the seagull. So she went like, Dad! Dad! <laughs> like, like, oh my god. <laughs> Just punch the seagull! In midair! <laughs> They say, like, dads can get dad reflexes. Maybe that's what it was. You getting your drawing tablet? Oh, good! It'd be nice to have you join in. You feel bad for... Yeah, I don't condone punching birds. Even if they're seagulls and they're harassing you. There's, there's better ways to deal. Like, just scream and run away. <laughs> That's what I would probably do. Ah! Yeah, guys, don't hit, don't punch the seagull. He doesn't understand. He's just hungry. You've held a seagull? Well, you really like birds, don't you, Boto? Like, you're really chill with the local pigeons as well. I know you like to feed those. Because we've got that castle nearby, a lot of people, photographers and stuff, like to put out seed and uh, photograph the birds, like, in front of all the old, like, architecture and stuff. That's and really cool. Yeah, and, you, and pumpkins and stuff, yeah. You feed crows, or oh, they're well. They're really. They're, I'm always being told how smart they are, like looking at the videos and stuff that come up. Need to get me a crow, like that guy that trained the crow to bring him money. Oh, Rats, thanks for resubbing. He didn't notify you. Oh, that's fine, Rats. It's nice to see you now. It's good to see you. And thank you as well. That's very kind of you. Befriend a pigeon? Well, I, I find that birds are similar to guinea pigs. As long as you got food and it's food that they like, they'll like you. You should have been. Oh my god! I modded GTA once and I was a monkey and I, I couldn't play it because it was so funny just watching the monkey do human stuff like drive a car and. 
<laughs> and, <he's>, uh, <laughs> and then going to play with the dog as a monkey. <laughs> oh my god, mud in GTA is amazing. I don't know why it's so funny just watching a monkey do it. Like, <laughs> Whoa, this music's very chill. Whoa. Is this a Stardew one still? Which character should you draw? You should draw like the um that that buff the buff guy who lives in a shed and he's got long hair. He's like a Fabio looking guy. Oh Elliot. Is that his name? Elliot? Uh, the only character I know who's called Elliot is Elliot Moose. And he is a moose. Yeah, Elliot Boto. He's a buff blonde guy. Long hair. Oh my god, this music's like... You sit the chicken on the porch and you have a heart to heart with him. How's it going, chicken? We did this exact same thing, didn't we? The other, like a few weeks ago. Hey, champ. Notice you haven't been laying much today. It just goes, Bleh. Yeah, there he is. That's Elliot. No. See, look at... Isn't Elliot handsome? He's got brown eyes. I wonder if he dyes his hair. This is the kind of music that plays when you get up really early. And you, you like, look out the window and you just contemplate. You think about the shit that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom out? What now? Did I did I miss it? I'm a good boy. You'd like to see you try? <laughs> oh, they're cute. Me sitting in the kitchen at six a.m. I could make you guys eggs though. Would would that make it a bit nicer? If you get up at 6 a.m. and I make you a nice fried egg, how's that? Is it so much? Oh, you want a different thing today, Bosho? I'm still thinking about, you remember I told you guys that story the other day about um, when I went to put the bins out and I helped the old lady and she told her husband I looked like an eccentric man? I've been thinking about that recently. Maybe I should go knock on her door and say, what, what did you mean about it? She probably, would, probably didn't even remember she her. Probably like, oh, the eccentric man's back. How we do you help us keep out of where we live? <laughs> You got your laptop and oh, and your tablet set up. Mm. I'm not eccentric, am I? I prefer the term like unique. Was I wearing anything? I looked at it. Well, it was really early in the morning. <laughs> he was naked. <laughs> I, it was really early, so I was like, my hair was messy. I'd like got up, and like the trash had already been taken. So I was like, oh well, before I like get washed and stuff, I might as well go get the trash. 
You know, because that's like gross and dirty anyway. I was wearing like a shirt and jogging pants and shoes. It must have just been how I looked. Maybe I just gave off like homeless man vibes. I don't know. I don't think she meant it in a bad way. She might have thought I was a mad scientist. She might have thought I just had mad riz. Oh my god, honey, this man with immense riz has just brought back our treasure. Oh, it's wonderful. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And leave. <laughs> Sorry, Boto. I forgot this is meant to be a risk free zone. In this music, someone keeps pouring a drink. I can hear it. Clocking my vibes? Oh no. Is that the vibe I want to give off? Eccentric? Eccentric vibes. Hello, Voltron. Are we driving by? Oh, okay. Have safe travels, Voltron. You take it easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick bathroom break, but I'll leave you in Steph's. Oh, that's a bouncer! Oh, there's a fish! Oh, that's so cool! What, did you not see that? I didn't see that one, no! Oh my god, that's amazing! I love that! I totally missed that one. Have you seen what I'm drawing now? <gasps> is that Abigail? Yeah. With a baby! Right, anyway, sorry. Before I wet myself, I'll, I'll be I'll be right back, okay? Hold on, guys. Oh, thank you, Waffle. Whopper? <laughs> I said Whopper! <laughs> oh my god, is that Abigail um, eating rocks?
back. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, honey. I left the uh, screen on yours while you were doodling. I oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I would have tried to have done something more impressive than just faff about with the same like lines. Over. What do you mean? No, this is really cute. I love the guinea pig. Oh, I love it when Steph draws pigs. He's having a little carrot. Oh, have you seen the other Abigail next to me as well? No, hold on. They've done a really good job at the hair. I don't feel like I've captured it very well. Let's have a look. Where am I? Oh, is she eating rocks? She really likes rocks. Oh, Wofa, that's really cool. Quartz. Yeah, it's all right. Quartz is a hard word to spell. Oh, that looks amazing, Wofa. That's really cool. Because I know, Wofa, you draw really cool, like, furry stuff. I don't know if I've seen you draw a human before. That's really, really good. Sparkle says, that pig is giving me slight cuteness aggression. It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the love event, really? Ooh. <clears throat> oh, hello, Cleo. How are you doing? No, because no. Oh, it's an Irish baby. The eccentric man is back. All of you guys are drawing such cool stuff. Oh, it's a sub over. I love. I'm just going to show Steph Sons real quick. It's just a really cute scene. Oh, that's really Isn't cool. it, Therese? Very cute. Is that Pikachu or a Mimikyu? I think that's Pikachu, my dear. He's wearing a farmer's hat. Is it thong? He's wearing a thong. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pikachu's wearing a thong. Oh, you're welcome, son. As usual, everyone's doing like amazing. I don't know what color uh, Abigail's guinea pig's meant to be because it's only like a few dots in like the official pixel art. Because it's got a dark ear, can you make it Creston? She got a Creston. Or Brindle, maybe? Ancient Sea. Ooh, very nice. It's nice to see you, Cleo. Especially on release day. Oh my god. Being on the first page made you... Oh my god, does being on the first page make you guys nervous? Because, like, it's where we tend to stream the most. If it makes you anxious, I can just focus on me and Steph. I don't want to make no one nervous. You wanted to check him out, Jaden? Oh! Every, like I say, everyone's doing a really good job. I'm very proud of everybody. You don't remember? Oh no, the Cleo, that's fine. If you're like playing Stardew or whatever, no, that's fine, don't worry. <gasps> Stardew Sona with baby sheep. Can you get sheep in Stardew Valley? I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, there's sheep in it. I don't think I've ever, like, adopted any, like, when I've played it. Although, like, Steph's told you guys before, hasn't it? I tend to go in the underground and get things from there, and Steph tends to do the farming stuff. Yeah, the cave. Oh, the caves is really fun. Get farm animals in a farm. Never really done any of the farming in Stardew Valley. Isn't that terrible? You make your boyfriend water rat? IRL or in the game? He was a delf. Oh, Elliot. Elliot's, Elliot's pretty delfy.
in the game. It's just the worst part for you all. Like I say, when I played Stardew Valley, I married Penny because Penny reminded me of Steph. I think that was the only person I ever married in the game. The only person I've ever married in the game is you when we've played it together. Mm -hmm. But then Steph went off and played a different farming game and married eight men. <laughs> that was Little Wood. Little Wood, Steph's massive farm harem. Best life you were you were living some kind of fantasy life, yeah. <laughs> you married Sebastian and hated it, Cleo. Oh my god. I remember there was a, there was a point in that game, the Littlewood one, where she was dating every male in the game. And a bird. And and a bird. And, and a all the women as well. And all the yeah, basically she was dating everybody in the game. And she had to marry someone and she was like, Oh no, I was like, What's wrong? What happened? She's like, Oh, I need to get married. I was like, Isn't that a good thing? She's like, No, like all my side people won't I won't be able to date them anymore. <laughs> I'm like, oh poor you. I think she 100%ed that game as I well. Did, I really loved yeah, it. she really enjoyed it. It's like a, what, a poly farm. <laughs> I think Steph was just doing it for the achievements more than anything. It's like, look, if I can no, just. No, there weren't any achievements for doing it. It was more so because, like. Was it just a power move? I'm never interested in the dating aspect of, like, video games. That's and valid. I thought for this one, I'm, I'm going to do something like so out of character for me. And I was like, I'm going to date everyone, anyone who's dead. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The title, Cleo, was called Little Wood, wasn't it, honey? Yeah. Yeah, Little little Wood, or one word. And then they even reviewed it on Steam with certain, like, hot boys and stuff. Oh my god, really? <laughs> this game was so hot. It had so many hot boys in it. <laughs> they were all queuing up to be with me. It was great. I'll see you soon, Sir Dennis. I hope the dentist goes well for you. I might do at some point, guys. Maybe this coming week. I might do a Minecraft stream, because I've been thinking about those Minecraft guinea pigs a lot. <laughs> might make like a guinea pig farm. You had your first ever... Oh, really, Rats? How did it go? Your first ever one? I didn't go to Steph's first ever one, but I went to Steph's like first ever one in like a very long time, and that was interesting. My first one. Like uh, eye doctor appointment. Do you remember that time when we had to get your glasses, and you were like, "Oh my god, everything's in like HD." It's like that's how you're supposed to see. It's at 5 p.m. Ooh. Well, from from experience, you know, they're, they're very gentle. They do, obviously, due to the nature of it, they do have to get into your personal space quite a bit. But that's just because they want to make sure that your eyes are okay. When I was a kid, we I had, like, a lady one. And she was, like, so hypnotic with how she would talk. 
She would like get the light and shine it in your eyes. And then she'd go, look left. Look right. Like she had like such like a hypnotist voice. Is that why you watch so many eye appointment ASMR videos? I like the ones where they test my color vision and they say it works. <laughs> That's my guilty ASMR guys. I like to watch ASMR eye ones and then when they, it's the color vision they say everything's fine. I'm like, oh <laughs> so this is how the color typical people live. Oh, Cleo, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Cleo's just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing though. Oh, okay. As long as you think I'm cool, I don't want my own. I don't want you to not think I'm cool. That's the only thing. We might agree on something, Boto. Really? What? What are we agreeing on, Boto? I think I did. That's okay, I don't worry, it happens, don't worry. I've seen people panic in the past where they're like, oh god, what have I done? Is that no, it's fine. And guys, if we did start a Minecraft server again, would you play it with us? It's more so me being very insecure. I, I have to ask if you would play it with us. The itis, the itis ones are good, Boto. Yes, I, I do agree. They are good, yeah. You want to start your- Oh no, that's fine. I, I don't think it'll be any time soon. I'm just saying it's like preemptive. Okay, do a straighten about- Really? That's very sweet. Like I say, you guys could play on that one if you wanted to, because I I, I want to make one at some point, but if they've gone to the trouble of uh, planning making one, I don't want to, like, ruin that. Oh, that's so sweet. It's running, you played it with her. Oh, Cleo, that's so sweet. You've been friends. Ask oh, can I see Boto? Where did you end up drawing them? Oh, is, is it the... Oh, who's the guy with the moustache in Stardew Valley? Is it the doctor or the guy that owns the shop? I don't know. They, they all sort of blur together to me. <laughs> That's re that, that is really good, though. I recognise who it is from, like, the sprite. That's really, really good, Boto. Oh, yeah, him! The boy. Yeah, that's awesome. Well done. You're all doing really good. You should all be proud of yourselves. You're all doing really good. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love that. It looks so watercolory. Oh! Oh, that's cute. Little startup screen. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Ooh. And we got like a little bird friend and some flowers. That's so cute. Oh, flowers. 
cats. Oh, that's that's right, you're catching the cat fish. Yes, the big cat fish. <laughs> that's really cool. Isn't that amazing? And Susan's been drawing some Pokemon. This one's very pretty too. Is there some romance going on here? Oh, if I was to guess, I'd mm. say that might be Haley and Maru. Oh. I don't know if I'm just projecting. <laughs> Oh, Jelly Park says yes. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, so you've had oh you've had the, the what's his name? The cheese the cheese dragon. I love cheese dragon. Abigail and David Jr. That's his name. I looked it up on the wiki. David Jr. Oh, here's a little girl, she he looks like Brandall. I made him brown. <laughs> Looks like he's been dipped in caramel. Look at him. Oh, it's a baby. It's like a Rollo yogurt. Yeah. I love Rollo yogurts. <laughs> You've got some in the fridge, I think. Ooh. Oh, that's so good, honey. You did, you've done so many, hon. My mm -hmm. God. Yeah, you've done loads. Yeah, my levels. Your turkey's fishing up an octopus? Oh, that's amazing. What layer have I gone on? I think I'm on the wrong one. Haley. Oh, Jelly, no. Jelly says a Haley in my cringe self insert. Oh, no. <laughs> self inserts are not cringe, guys. No. Guys, you should self-insert yourselves into your fan things. That's fine. Yeah, cringe is dead. Yeah, totally. Especially here. No such thing. Especially here. About to self insert myself into a loving relationship with a stable future. Live your best life, Bean. Do it. Go for it. Oh, and an update on patches. Uh, he's still on his medicine, but he's been getting so much better at taking it. Because um, if you were in the stream yesterday, we were talking about like how it's his first time ever having medicine, and he's like, no, it tastes horrible. And he was kicking up such a fuss, but today he's been so good with it. I keep reminding him that he is a very good boy. You have no idea why, but that's good news, though. A random four. Oh, that's a very specific amount. Is it like, is, did someone owe you something, maybe? Is that a trash can lid? Steph's drawing something else, I'm excited.
It's not a crock pot, is it? No. <laughs> They're starting to look very crock potty. It's something that I do enjoy a lot in that game. <laughs> is it making jam? No. Uh, she does like making jam in that game. Is it, it's, it's, it's it a barrel? No. Oh, it's not a barrel. Crockpot was closer. Crockpot. Is it cooking? Uh, not quite. Rat says going through people's bins. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cooking, it's not making jam, it's not going through people's bins. But you said it was close to crock pot? I'm trying to think. It must have been a long time since you last played Stardew Valley. It is! No, seriously, it is. I'm just watching her. I'm like, what is that? I don't know. And that one's open. Mm -hmm. I just, I'll let you. I'll let you cook some more. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that's been a hot minute since I've played. Especially, like, since we've played, like, together and stuff, so... Unicorn says, is it a crab pot? Yes! Oh, my God. No wonder I never got it. Literally everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Well done, Unicorns. Unicorns, I would not have got that. I didn't even remember crab potting was a thing. <laughs> oh, Voltron, how are you doing? Oh no, it's <laughs> Queen. <Lord. laughs> You sleepy? Dead? No, that's fine, Bowto. Take it easy. We'll see you again. Do you get big money from doing like uh, crab pot, son? Yeah. Just do Why did you <laughs> the thrill of crab potting? I want like crap button, but it's kind of boring. Yeah, you didn't think too highly of it when I was <laughs> using all our resources on crap pots. Yeah, to make more crab pots, yeah. The thrill of crabs. Sam, is that what that about an oh god, that's a furry. Oh look at it. <laughs> I don't like him. He's nasty. Furbies are gross. Can we all agree that Furby's a nasty? No. We've got one. I don't like him. Oh, I've had him since I was a kid. Well, you're allowed to like him. I like the crab's face, though. He looks like he's deflated a bit like a balloon. How do crabs get in the pots but not get out? Crab pot technology. Is it like a fly, you know, where they get in the house and then they don't know how to, like, get out? What do you mean, common Adam L? Shut up, cat. <laughs> you know nothing.
They're stupid. A crab's dumb. They're stupid. <laughs> oh no, a, a crab's a crab's stupid. Oh, this is the perfect music for it. A crab's. What do you mean, crabs are stupid? The crab got small brain. Baby brain. Baby brown eyes. Baby brown eyes. Baby brown eyes is what I call patches. Baby blue eyes. Is and he's baby blue eyes, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. They got trapped, didn't they? Rats, haven't you ever been trapped in something? I got trapped behind a washing machine once. Only once, though. I did learn my lesson. Didn't Sonic teach you? No, no. He taught me not to go in the washing machine, not behind it. And if you were a crab, you would have stayed there. <laughs> Fun to have a mess with colours. I'll show you. Is that Queenler? Oh my god, is she here? Oh no, it might be better if we did that at the bottom actually. Do you guys like eating crabs? What's your opinion on like eating them for food? I've never eaten one. Oh, that's fine, honey. Don't worry. It didn't help you with your mom always buying crab sticks. They're good. I think they're quite yummy too. I like the claws. Like when they pinch you, it's like you do that again, I'll eat it. Yeah, that looks a bit better. <laughs> what is that? I can find out who it is. <laughs> who keeps flashing that? What is that? It's a thing saying my students are morons. It's you, Yanoi! It's you! Oh, I recognize that guy. I've seen some of his YouTube videos. He pretends to be like a therapist. And I couldn't tell if he was actually a therapist at first, but I'm pretty sure he's not now based on the thing. I that don't he think does. if he calls his students idiots, I don't think that he is. Well, I don't I think that. Like the videos that popped up in the subscription box was about like where he wants to hide bodies. So it's like. I don't, sure. Again, that's not typical therapist <laughs> behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Where he wants to hide bodies. And I was gonna try and draw them in like a wheat field or something. So let's Woo! Let's go with this. David Jr. Who? David Jr. Who's that? Oh it's David the guinea pig, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't realise he had a name. I didn't even, I didn't, let alone a David Senior, this is all yeah, like... Yeah, I don't know who David Senior is. This is all big news to me, hun. Why is Steph watching videos about hiding bodies? She watches all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <things. laughs> Her favourite thing is to be like, oh, I'm watching all these plane crash videos. And I'm like, why? And it's like, oh, if you're ever in a plane crash with me, I know all the safe spots to be. It's like, do you know 
not people don't tend to survive plane crashes and she's like oh she's like oh you will with me i know i know all the safe spaces to hang out it's like oh my god hun. like disaster movies if there's floods and stuff as well it's like, oh yeah i know all the places don't worry Steph literally said, nah, I'm built different. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I'm oh, there it like is. <laughs> there it is. I'm not like other girls. I'm disabled. <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm not like other girls. I'm disabled. Oh, you're breaking my heart. No. Not like other girls, a plane can't kill me. She'll be like, Ernest Hemingway? Who's that? Hello, Sproach. How you doing? You're doing okay. Oh, I love the little Furby drawing. <laughs> you love the Furby? Oh, it's scary. Some draws Furbies to tease me because I think they're weird. <laughs> Furbies are strange, huh? And they're not friends. I like that my egg has now turned into that man's head. <laughs> At the top of his head. <laughs> she, the chickens laid him. <laughs> Finals are in your... Oh, well, good luck. Oh, gosh, Spurge, good luck with them. It sounds like you're in the home stretch, which is good, but gosh, yeah, good luck with them. Do, do, do. Ernest was a novelist who survived two plane crashes, really? I love your crab pot, hun. That's really cool. I know this was quite the, uh, quite the theme, but you guys have done really well with it today. I'm really impressed. I don't even know if this is in the game. This is like when you're love interest, Abigail. You wake up and she's in your field and she's like, Oh, hello. I thought it'd be fun if we walked in the field together. And then you both get ticks. <laughs> More oh. You don't know anything about oh uni that's fine yeah like i say the whole thing with the prompts is just in case you get stuck and you don't know what to draw but you're still allowed to draw you know as long as you're following the rules you're allowed to draw anything yeah the more often theme is just like farm do, 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 do. are you drawing another crab you are good at drawing sea life and stuff you're really good at and steph's working on another crochet like uh sea life thing as well and that's coming along really cute as well i've been very impressed with it i'm struggling quite a bit with some of the details i am following a pattern for it but it's just the difficult it's so small fiddly lyme disease is so romantic it's like, oh honey, do you remember the time we went frolicking in a field and we caught Lyme disease? <laughs> She's saying it at the grave of the guy. Oh, that's morbid. Like SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob.
Is the crab holding him? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, help! Oh my god, that could be Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs goes naked and takes on crab form. <laughs> I've been such a layer hug with this one. <laughs> I've been such a thin hug. <laughs> no, you, hey, you've been doing really well, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good call. You guys took your meds today. There's usually one of you that hasn't. Oh no, they're all the way on the other side of the room! Oh. You traded them for smoke in prison? Oh yeah, and Stardew Valley has like mountains and stuff in the background, doesn't it? Rats, was it you? Did you not take them? I guess we could have like the like the indication of them just really far away. This can be the scene, you know, when you've like maxed out your heart. That's that's what you have to do in Stardew, isn't it? You have to max out the hearts with the character that you're going after. Yeah, if you want to get them. And you've maxed out Emily's heart, and she's like, "Ooh." Although I think you become best friends with them if you become like ten hearts, but then you've got the option to get them. All oh, right. Okay. So you could just be best friends with them. We just become a BFF. That's kind of wholesome too. When did I do the eyes? I can't remember. Is it in? Is it in these ones? No. Oh God! I've lost the eyes. It lost her eyes. No. Oh, that's weird. Oh, weird. I guess I could just do it on this one. <laughs> The transplant committee gets mad. A bit more shiny. Yeah, that looks a bit better. More shiny eyes. That's what I was going for. Clean up the skin as well, I think. Like, it's weird how like farming games work. Like, say if there was someone, say someone moved into where you live nearby and they started a farm. And if they started giving you like every like once a week and they gave you like a turn in <laughs> Is that the way to your guys' heart? Just they that 
no like explanation. They just give you a turn if we're like, here you go. Is that like a turn on or is that like a oh god. Free food? I don't know. I was always taught by my parents to be suspicious of like strangers giving you things. So I'd be like, oh, like a free vegetable. I'd be like, what's wrong with it? I like that your family taught you that. But at the same time, when it came to well, that Halloween, when we were giving out treats to the trick or treaters, and your mum just gave us like a ball of candy to give out. And there was a tea cake thing, and there was one mum who was like, what's that? And you were like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> You give him candies to children. Yeah, I know. Put in your gub, woman. <laughs> I'm not your chaperone. That's like the most suspicious thing you've ever said. <laughs> what's in this candy that you're giving to my kids? Who knows? <laughs> it's a mystery. No one knows. New husband alert. Oh, hello, Doc. How are you doing? I'm sus of nothing. Marry him. It's a turnip. Think of the things you can do with that. You could roast it. You could put it in a stew. You could eat it raw if you really wanted to. I mean, I guess. Sent SpongeBob into a juvenile. Did you? Yeah. Stinchy belly thing. Oh my god, look at it! <laughs> oh, if I was helping the community in that thing, <laughs> I'd, I'd move out. Why is SpongeBob missing? Why are they both naked? <laughs> what What's going on here? And there's like a there's like um a puffer fish staring at them. That's from the Dragon School. <laughs> what? They all get naked. <laughs> Quit. Let's all get naked at driving school, Mr. Krabs. My wrist's starting to hurt. Oh, don't overdo it. You finished your overall. Oh, well done, Doc. That's awesome. Stupid wrist. Is that another one? Oh my god, it's another one! Why are all these Furbies everywhere? Furbies are cute. I don't like them, they smell. I wanted to draw some like practice gems from Stardew Valley. Ooh. There's lots of like nice rocks. Yeah, that's true, yeah. If anyone wants to draw some nice gemstones on my behalf. Look at Steph just farming out the work. <laughs> On the Venus farm. You should draw Mona Cleo. Is that like the Nana Land one? Who's that? The cutest girl. I don't know the song. There's like a song that the grandma sings to her. The cutest girl. Wonderful girl. Who's that wonderful girl? I know nothing about that. I just know it is like the show that Cleo watches. That's the only thing I really know about Nanoland. Is it an actual TV show? It is, yeah. It's an actual thing, yeah. They went to a convention recently. They were very popular, apparently. God, Nate, what would you do? Yeah, if you went to driving school, you get in your car and the instructor's just like a crab on the seat. <laughs> it's like, Can you read that license plate to me, please? Did you draw Emily's parrot? I didn't even know she had a parrot. Well, she's got some kind of a bird in her room. She's got some kind, of, some kind of a bird there. Emily's parrot sounds like a really wholesome kid's book. Is it like a green... A green, green wings, a, yellow body. 
the green-breasted beauty. There you go. I did it in the background. It's really far away. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's from two oh wow it's from 2004 oh also that's curious old green breasted beauty what is it that you guys always say was it what was it like big naturals or something like that Guys, stop saying big natural. <laughs> You're not going to win any hearts and minds saying that. I'm sending you a screenshot. Oh, okay. If you want to call a pick from it. Let me go see stuff. Oh, God. Is that, is that it? It's pixel art. It's, it's very small. It's a... Uh... Okay. This one you can see more of the bedroom. Oh, why has you got double bed? Why is your TV not facing the bed? That's so strange. And if you uh, become best friends with her, she lets you use her sewing machine and you can make like more unique clothes that you can wear. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Like I said, the only person I ever romanced in Stardew Valley was... Um, Penny, and I think the reward of that is saving her from her abusive mother, so I don't think you get anything else. It makes me laugh that mother's the one that drives the bus. Like, you've got a yeah. to get it's like the, music. <laughs> the alcoholic mom. Oh, that's cute. It's really big, Junimo. <clears throat> Is that Sebastian? That's awesome. Rats, that's so cool. Apologies for drawing a crab like kind of squash behind Sebastian. Like, Sebastian, I love you. I am a crab. Oh my god, you guys have been so busy. I want to try and get it. There we go. If I put it like there, you'll be able to see them. You feel bad for Pam? That's Penny's mum. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's really well. Oh my god, Jelly, that's awesome. I love the colors. Oh, that's really cute. Jelly's like, oh, Pam, uh, like we should take a picture together, Haley. <laughs> Unless. Yeah, we love a self insert. Froyo did a self insert too. There's Froyo catching a big, like, catfish. We love self-inserts in this house. Oh, bunnies are so cute! Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> like Boron. Chickens, Boron. So cute. Boron had like water the chickens. That's beautiful as well. Isn't that really nice? That's so pretty. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's good. I don't really like mud, but you live on a farm. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, those are pretty. Oh, that's a pretty dress. Reminds me of like, I can't remember the name of it, but in Norway, they have these uh, specific dresses. That they wear, and it, they've got like patterns like that on, but I can't remember the oh, name of them. It's like the Ross Marlin on. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't remember that. Sensei told me them, but I can't remember the name of them. Oh, is that the guy with the mustache's name? Harvey? I think it's getting mixed up with Pia. Do, 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 do. Everyone's, oh, everyone's done such a good job. I don't know how you guys do it, like how you guys pick colours and things. Like, then again, my colours aren't exactly that great, are they? But oh my god, I love how you guys colour things. It's so cute. Oh, 
What, what, what? What's not on purpose? What? What, did I miss someone? What did, who did I miss? Unikitty, did I miss these? Oh, they're pretty. Oh, I love the rice. Oh, it's a boy, man. I always miss people. Oh my god, who? Who am I always missing? That's why I like to do it zoomed out. Oh, you coloured them in? Oh, your emo, dude. That's really good. You were, like, nervous about that. That looks awesome. Now, just shout up if I miss it, guys. I'm not missing anyone out, like, on purpose. If I, if I miss them, it's because my brain's, like, somewhere else. Oh my god, is that a Tamagotchi? That's so weird. Steph and I were talking about those today. I like Tamagotchis. Yeah, oh, Voltron, that's awesome. It's like one of the OG ones. Oh, and some, that's really pretty too. Didn't they make a Pokemon Wrench game? That's what it uh, reminds me of. I love how you've got like Sobble crying to water them. That's really cool. Monster Rancher, that was cursed. Oh my god, I had like the discount like Mike Wazowski in. That was terrifying. Right, my chickadees. It is time for me to run off and make Steph some dinner. Oh. But thank- oh my god, seriously, thank you for joining this one, because doing this on, like, Stardew's release thing was probably a bit risky. So thank you for those that decided to come and join in. I do really appreciate it. It was very sweet of you. So thank you for joining me today. We'll be uploading on Sunday, as you know, and if we do any extra streams... Stop, stop, stop abandoning! I don't like that. <laughs> If we do extra ones, I'll make sure to tag you on Discord, okay? So enjoy the rest of your week, have fun, and I will see you very soon, okay? Bye-bye!